This past Monday I was at work, and as I walked by the TV the news was on. There was a particular story on that caught my attention. Two teens in Brookville, Pennsylvania videoed themselves beating on a deer that was unable to get away or fight back, and then they posted it on Facebook. Unsurprisingly, this has caused outrage, even to the point that a petition has been created to get these two boys burned at the stake. So what's my stance on this situation? The whole thing is being blown out of proportion. It's nothing more than two kids being dumb. Is what they did wrong? In order for me to answer that question honestly, I must also acknowledge that morality is subjective, and whether it comes down to being right or wrong doesn't matter to me. I just don't care. The treatment of that animal affects my life in no way. But the fact that each aggravator chose to get a PA hunting license does bound them to upholding a standard of hunting honor, and they literally provided evidence of their dishonor. So, should these individuals be punished? Yes, but not to the extent of what's being called for. Criminal charges for all the more that was done is absurd, especially the call for maximum sentencing. People want to throw the book at these two, but let's look at things logically for a moment. Two boys came across a downed wild animal, and what likely happened from there was a test of courage, some type of dare or competition. Realistically, one kid probably challenged the other to see if he could get away with kicking the buck. Under normal circumstances, that animal would rip through those two like a freight train. Deer are surprisingly tough. Does this excuse their behavior? No, but it's a rational take on the incident as opposed to the alternative, which is an emotional response to seeing something deemed disturbing. This is what young guys do. We constantly test one another and sometimes things escalate. But the masses are acting as though the penalty should be hefty fines and imprisonment. As if this act is on a similar level to three guys one hammer. Community service is a possibility. And if that's not enough, there's a nice little place not too far from where they live called Quahanna Boot Camp. Plenty of respect and discipline will be taught there. The point is that there are better ways to teach these teens a lesson. Instead of blacklisting them for life, Suspend any future ability to hunt until the age of 21, when they've matured a little more. People are concerned with them being psychopaths, so make them go through the hassle of getting a psyche valve, and if they end up being disturbed, it can be handled accordingly. It's funny how any behavior that seems extreme or makes people uncomfortable is deemed as what a psychopath would do. But at the same time, mental illness as a whole is put up on a pedestal. A woman gets raped and some moron will virtue signal and suggest that we should consider the rapist's life experiences because they might be a victim as well. Everyone's a victim in 2019. Yeah, let's coddle all mental issues and at the same time twist them into some type of heroism. But if someone beats up Bambi, they deserve eternal damnation. Society is so backwards. It will praise the highest forms of degeneracy while simultaneously crucifying whatever is deemed uncomfortable at that given time. From what I understand, the video is being censored, removed from social media, and news outlets won't show it publicly because of how shocking it is. People need to toughen up. I've watched the video, and I've seen much worse. Anyone driven into hysteria over this needs to do some serious self-reflection and figure out ways to correct the damage that's been done to them as a result of their obvious sheltered existence. Violence is part of life. These two teenagers should have known better than to violate the rules of a yearly ritual with strong ties to sportsmanship and then share that moment with the world. They invited this situation and now the consequences must be faced. But should these kids have their lives ruined for what they did? Absolutely not. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe, and if you could, tap the little bell icon so that you're notified every time I come out with new content. First off, I just want to say that in the beginning of this video, I say that the events that I'm talking about took place on this past Monday. This video is being released a couple weeks late due to some technical difficulties. Firstly, I don't have the greatest recording setup, 
And on top of that, there's something going on with my mic. Whenever I get done recording and I listen to everything, certain things aren't there, so I have to re-record. And it's very annoying. But anyways, on the topic of this video, a lot of people are upset over what happened. I understand that. And as I said in the video, I think these same people are overreacting. Is what these two kids did brutal? Absolutely. By definition, what they did is barbaric. And there was something that I really didn't touch on in the video, which was the conversation on torture. That's what almost everyone is saying happened, that this deer was tortured. So with that comes the question of, is torture okay? I will say that I'm not completely against it. I'm not going to go in deep as to my meaning behind that. I don't think it's necessary, and I don't feel that I need to explain myself. And how I can relate that to this whole idea of animals and nature and hunting is this. If somebody I cared about deeply went out hunting or even went hiking in the woods and an animal killed them, picked them off, ate them, killed them in a brutal fashion, which is usually what happens, I would hunt the animal down and I can promise you that that creature would have a slow death. Now I can already tell that there would be people out there that would argue and say that this animal is doing what's in its nature. And here is my response to that. I'd be doing the same thing. Alright, that's it for me. Until you hear from me again, have a good one.